everybody and welcome from Northwest Frenchies. I wanted to do another um, dog food recipe and this is basically everything that we're putting in there. So, of course, our base ingredient and most important is the protein. I have ground turkey and it's ground together with bone. Um, and it's raw, of course, as you can see, it's defrosted, but it's still really cold to the touch. Um, and then I have two baked sweet potatoes. You could also boil these, um, but they definitely do boil faster than they bake. But I find that when you boil um, anything, you know, boil broccoli, boil any vegetable, you lose a lot of that nutrition into the water and you just pour that off. So just keep all the nutrition in there, bake it. <laughs> um, and then raw pumpkin seeds this is an amazing source of vitamin e and it's also a natural dewormer so if you've ever had issues with parasites in your dogs you need this in your life <clears throat> these are frozen blueberries um, antioxidants of course we need those it's going to help prevent cancer and fight free radicals and all of us have free radicals because of the world we live in this is just a dog multivitamin, um, probably optional, <laughs> but I like to put it in. Just gives me a little more peace of mind that, you know, they're getting everything that they need. So you can read on, on the label, there's, you know, digestive enzymes, vitamins, minerals, glucosamine, green-lipped muscles. Um, those are good for the joints. And then this, I love this. This is Dr. Harvey's green premix and it is basically a bunch of dehydrated vegetables and when you add this to your um to your meat actually this alone if you were to add it you know to your protein and your oil you would have a complete and balanced meal so you don't have to worry about like your dog missing out on anything because there's a bunch of supplements in here already and you can take a look at the ingredients. They are amazing ingredients. All really, really good stuff. The only drawback with this is it's really expensive. So if you're feeding a lot of dogs like me, you're probably gonna wanna you know, bulk up with your food with stuff that doesn't cost $90 a bag. So anyways, let's get to mixing this up. All right, first things first, I grind up the pumpkin seeds, otherwise they they cannot digest it if they're in this form. If you give them to them, you know, in this whole seed form, they're gonna poop it out whole. So you've gotta grind it. And that's about good for that. That's the size I get it to. So a little like powder. And then to this, I'm gonna add the blueberry and grind that together as well. So we have the ground pumpkin seeds in here as well as the blueberries. You don't have to grind the blueberries, but I find that my dogs will spit them out if they eat them whole. So that's why I grind them down. So it's, it's definitely an optional step, but it just helps my weird little dogs to actually eat the blueberries. So I go ahead and grind them up together. And it's stuck. <laughs> to just mix everything together. The first thing I'm gonna add in is that Dr. Harvey's pre-mix. Pre um, they, there are like desiccant packets in there, so just make sure you didn't pour the desiccant packet in. And this is basically dehydrated vegetables and um, minerals, all kinds of stuff, and it needs to be rehydrated. So we just add water to this. So I'm pretty sure it's one to one, but it's, it really doesn't matter all too much. And then 
package this at our meat. And I'm gonna be mixing this in portions because I actually need a bigger pot. This little pot does not fit everything. It turns out this is amazingly difficult to do with one hand, so I just put it all in. I did go ahead and take the skins off of the sweet potatoes. They come right off. It's so easy when they're baked. This is that um, vitamin powder, just two heaping spoons of that. This is the blueberry and um, pumpkin seeds all ground together. The Dr. Harvey's premix is at the bottom soaking with water. And then of course, this is the turkey. Basically all that's left is to mix it around and it takes a little muscle work. And this is literally all I do. There's still 10 pounds of turkey to add in. It's just I have to do this in stages because my, my little arm cannot mix all this food at once. So I'll mix this up and then I'll add some more turkey in and I'll show you how it looks when it's all done. And it looks so gross, like green and blue and brown and weird, but Trust me, the dogs gobble this up like it's the most delicious thing ever. Here we go. That's what our food looks like. This is about two days worth of food. And it, it does look a little gross. I mean, yeah, it's raw meat. It's green because of that lovely, amazing, amazing food mix. And somebody's really hungry. And blue because of the blueberries. So it's a little bit ugly to look at, but you guys... This is so good for them. And I'll show you, this is gross. I would usually wear a glove, but um, when you're holding a phone in one hand and trying to do everything else with the other, it's weird. And I promise that I do wash my hands. <laughs> like what about mine? <laughs> Yes, I do feed them in several bowls too. It's just they actually already had their dinner and I'm prepping their food for tomorrow. This, of course, here you go, pillow. This goes into the fridge, um, of course. It should not be left out at room temperature. It's only out, you know, for the video's sake. Um, but I wouldn't keep this in the fridge more than, I don't know, four days or so. It's raw meat, of course, so bacteria can grow, although our dog's bodies are designed to... Misha, you already had one. Go away. Let me give it to the baby. Go baby. Anyways, I promise everybody gets fed. Do you want to bite too? Me? No. <laughs> no, babe. Alright, peace out from Northwest Frenchies. I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. Good health to all of the beautiful dogs in the world. I totally lied. I said I wasn't going to feed them again, but here we go. <laughs> this is their food. That mix that you saw. It's very, very delicious.